So uh, as loud as you can, make some noise for Steven Sanchez. <laughs> Woo! What's up? How you doing, bro? I'm doing good. This is awesome. Do we sit? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. so nice to finally meet you in person after doing like <sighs> Zoom calls and stuff. And yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy how like the world has changed over the past couple of years. But I mean, yeah. at the same time, it's given a lot of artists an opportunity to... You know, be stuck in the studio, totally working, yeah, grinding. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Bay, bro. Thanks, man. Yeah, I I've been admiring your picture. I've been talking about the last for like the last hour. You see this? Look at this guy, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now I know you spent some time coming through the Bay because you grew up in Northern California, right? Yeah, I grew up in Sacramento. Well, so, like, yeah, right? Not too bad. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> yeah, love sack, love sack. So, what is what is some of your like early memories of growing up in Northern California and coming through the Bay and some of the things you used to do? Oh my God, I uh, I drove from Sacramento to San Francisco at like two a.m. Mm -hmm. and it was that was it. Yeah, yeah that was great. It was a great memory. It, it was, is a great drive yeah. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> really quiet. I mean, no one was out. You know, the bridge was. Pretty much empty. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's nice. How often do you get a chance to come back? I know you moved. I think the last time we talked, you moved to Nashville, right? Yeah. Moved to Nashville. Live there now. Got a little little house. And uh, it's great. It's yeah. great. Uh, I don't really get to come out to San Francisco too often. So I'm really glad to be back. It's really nice. Love right? San Francisco. It's great. Right. Yeah, Absolutely. So. Tonight, yeah. you have a sold out show, the Great American show. Music Hall. It's gorgeous there also. Yeah. Like, holy <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. 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 That's what's Sorry, up, I don't man. know if I am I allowed to cuss. You can, you can. We'll bleep it out later, okay, bro. Cool. Don't worry about it. Sorry. <laughs> we got you. Carla's like, oh my god, but we got you. We nice. got you. All right. <laughs> no, we want you to feel as much at home as possible because you know cool. you're a Northern California guy, so we appreciate yeah, yeah. you. Sweet. Spending some time with us today. Yeah, thanks for I, wanting me. Absolutely. Uh, Until I Found You was the first single that we started playing. Like yeah. crazy. I play it every single night. Man. You know, and it's been like that. How long ago did that song come out? Like over a year ago? Uh, yeah, I think September of 2021. That's crazy. It's insane. And just it's, and then you yeah. have M. Buy Hold on it as well, who we love. Yep. She's incredible. She's amazing. Talk I was just with her last night. Word. Talk yeah. about working with M. Because I, I see, like, yeah. I saw you guys do a late show performance. Y'all killed it. I saw yeah. you guys work together a lot. Talk about y'all working relationship and uh, how many times you guys are in the studio. Because I feel like you guys yeah. have more music that we just haven't heard yet. Oh, geez. I, honestly, I wish. She's uh, she's amazing. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, we kind of met super randomly, you know, through people that we work with, obviously. And we talked about having a featured version of the song. But, you know, she's also an amazing songwriter. And she was having a great moment. And so us coming together was like perfect timing mm -hmm. and uh she just brought like new life to the song in like a an amazing way and uh i was so grateful to have her and like her writing that that part giving like a different perspective of the song because like it was very much obviously targeted towards one person yeah and that being georgia and so for her to have written a verse that you know was kind of taking away from that a little bit and giving another side to it was was really really special and i think it's amazing to see that so many people have fallen in love with that too and and also we've been playing it at shows too like i've been like singing her part just for fun and people have lost their mind and so right. it's been really cool just to see it give uh give new life to the song so absolutely yeah it's been absolutely. great right right yeah. right and your style your style is incredible you give me richie valens vibes i was talking Thanks, about man. it earlier like your 1950s vibe we talked about this before when you Drop the videos and all the projects you worked on, and then Evangeline as well. Like, where do you get that style from? Like, is that like how you want to do music, like in general, or is this just one chapter, one era of Steven Sanchez? That's a good question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's weird because, like, you know, I grew up with that music. Like, it's yeah. like intrinsic to I feel like who I am, and even more so than just that. Like, it's just. Like, I'm very much a romantic and, like, will live and die by a love song, you know? And I, I think for for me, that music back then is is very much just, like, dying at the hands of their lyricism, you know? It's just, like, it's so romantic and so simple, and yet somehow, like, 50 years ago is, like, you know, is uh, just as receivable, you know, today as it was back then. And so I, I think it's just, like, 
for me growing up with that, it, it just kind of fell into place. I mean, especially with Until I Found You, like it wasn't the goal at all. Like when we wrote that song, or when I wrote that song, you know, it was just, it was just a song. And then, you know, we, we made it that way just because it just felt right. And then even with Evangeline, you know, it just, we made it that way because it felt right. And now we're making a whole new record, you know, that way because it just feels right to do that. And uh, it's really exciting. Like it's really, really exciting. So. Um, I don't know that it feels like it's just one chapter. I think for right now, it just feels like like this guy, which is great. <laughs> <This> guy, <right? laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> so it's, but it's gonna be really, it's gonna be really fun. So absolutely. Who are some of the like, like a couple of artists from the 1950s from that yeah. era that you not necessarily try to copy or try to mimic, sure. but just that are heavily influenced for your music? Who are some of the, a couple of those people? Yeah. I didn't want to like be like give me your top three because that's, that's no a rough way question. no no I mean I think even more so like with this new it's like it's kind of everything like it's, mm -hmm. it's not even just like the the artist like Roy Orbison is like an obvious like first like Absolutely. Roy Orbison's amazing and the way he sings his lyrics is, is very much embedded in like the style but I I think um, it's it's less about you know oh, like these are the artists that we're pulling from to make this record. And it's more about like that we've set these songs like in the years 1958 and 1964 mm -hmm. and have created this whole storyline. And so Evangeline is a character in this album and the Troubadour Sanchez is a character in this album. And the Troubadour Sanchez's career starts in 1958, you know, when bands like James Brown and his Famous Flames and mm -hmm. Elvis Presley and the Bloomin' Boys and Dion and the Belmonts, and those were bands back in the 50s who always had an extension to themselves. And so it was Steven Sanchez and the Mooncrests in 1958. And the Troubadour Sanchez, this character in this album, wrote Until I Found You, and that starts the career. And then it goes back and forth, you know, from 1958, and there's songs that sound like they're from the 50s and like have that like doo-wop feel. And then we get to Evangeline, which is set in 1964, and that's when this love story starts in this record. And, you know, that's when, you know, in like back in the day, like mm. bands didn't need the extension of themselves, and it was just Dion, and it was just Elvis. That's yeah. incredible, bro. That's, that's cool. It's like a yeah. whole, like the whole storyline. You guys are yeah. about to get fed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's a lot, <laughs> there's a lot coming. Yeah. Thanksgiving, man. Right. Yeah. Uh, every day. Yeah. And then yeah. I saw you were teasing a song online recently that you yeah. were singing. Uh, I mean, along those lines. Only Girl. Only Girl. What can you, what can you tell us about Only Girl? Yeah, uh, so we, <laughs> we've been playing it. Wow, <laughs> 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 we, <laughs> we've been playing it at a. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, we've been playing it at shows, and it's a uh, uh, god. It's just it is talking about that storyline. I mean, the Trudor yeah. Sanchez is singing to Evangeline in this record, saying how he wants her to be his only girl, and that he doesn't want anybody else, and he just wants her to himself, and. And so there's a lot of themes of that in the record that you're gonna see is that it's just a lot of like, it's only you, like I never I never need anybody else, like, you know, and um, that you just want one person. And so I think that's what this whole record is about. And I think it's cool too, because I, I feel like fans and people who are in love and who are looking for love can very much put themselves in this record more than anything else, because I feel like it's just, we're just being very explorative and Absolutely. having fun with it. And so, right. yeah, so that, that kind of feels like this song is for anybody and everybody, so it's cool. That's awesome. Yeah, man. that's awesome. I feel like your songs are gonna be at weddings for like the next hundred years, bro. <laughs> it's God. crazy. I think one thing I told you last time we talked, I was like, Dan and Shay's gonna be pissed. Yeah, man. You know what I mean, like, because you're gonna be that just <laughs> bummed. That <laughs> go-to guy. Major though. bummed. Yeah. No, but you're you're incredible, bro. We do really appreciate you spending some of your time. Today. I know. Yeah. You know, tours going to be busy. And not only is he going to be here tonight for a sold-out show, you have another show at the Fox Theater in November, so you're yep. coming back to the Bay. That's so cool. Two <laughs> legendary spots in the Bay. It's, yeah. it's going to be incredible, man. What are you looking forward to the most for tonight, for being in the Bay Area, Northern California, for your show at the Great American Music Hall? I just want some clam chowder. Word. That so good. <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm just like, I love San Francisco so much, and I just think it's beautiful. And so I'm just excited just to be here and just walk around yeah yeah it's just awesome so i do hope you get some time yeah. to just you know just go take some flicks and just hang yeah. out and everything like that i know your schedule's super busy yeah but uh y'all make some noise to steven Sweet. sanchez show him some love <laughs>